Warning, this is Arnie Waters here in Boston. I hope you're having a terrific day. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? We're looking out in the gold area. We're seeing gold down about $10, trading around $16.70, $16.80. We're keeping our viewpoint that gold is going to be trading in this steady range over the next little while. Indeed, as the volume is low, we're seeing some trader buying on the dips. In the gold coin area, this means terrific opportunities abound. Uh, please give me a call on 781-380-8888 if you'd like some specific details about our inventory here. It, it is unfortunate that the United States continues to kowtow, as it were, to uh, the repressive regime in China. The return of the blind activist uh, indicates once more that we are far too interested in the economics of China without continuing to take an effort to understand the politics of China. It is the politics of China which will doom uh, the, any opportunity for the Chinese to peacefully uh, occupy the 21st century. Uh, part of our view, as you know, has always been that the Chinese political system, with the vicious repression that it employs, uh, will only continue to uh, drive people to the West. When I say drive people to the West, what I mean is that, uh, it, even as noted during the Bo case, uh, which remains ongoing, uh, Bo had sent his son for education to uh, England and then to the United States. More and more uh, successful Chinese are keeping their children and families abroad as they themselves continue to try to make their businesses prosper inside China. That only augurs well for the future of the West. Uh, back to gold, gold's bias, excuse me, gold's technical charts show a bias downward. Uh, we think that gold's going to trade in this range for the next week or 10 days. We just wanted to check in and give you a nice, hi, how are you? Uh, if you? If you can, please enjoy this terrific day, and thanks so much. Bye-bye. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water.